Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 12 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Mamluks. In the last video, we had a little war against this nation down here. I can't even remember what they were called. We got a mission that gave us a claim on a province, but we took the whole lot because that is what we do. We're still keeping our eye out for rebellions. We need to build our armies up because we've lost some numbers, which is slightly problematic, but it is something that we can deal with. Definitely need to get some manpower back because that's uh, a definite issue right there. We don't have any manpower at all, so many, mostly because we keep getting into wars. So we do want to try and do some diplomatic vassalization where we can. Um, how many vassals do we currently have? We have uh, Cyprus. Cyprus is a vassal. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on those guys then. So um, uh, let's try and get our opinion up we are going to improve relations why is their opinion of us so low oh because we just annexed a vassal that makes a lot of sense that will burn away um but we should be able to uh should be able to get them high enough now the other thing is karaman which i don't think we're going to get as a vassal uh, it's only negative 28 but it's mostly because of the economic base we'll try and do it though uh, let's go ahead and take the tech. And uh, we can actually invest in an idea, which is a military idea, land leader maneuver. We are getting a lot of land leaders. It probably is worth doing. Uh, getting up to this manpower recovery speed as well. That's going to be really good. Manpower recovery speed and discipline are going to be two excellent things for us. We want to get them as quickly as we can. We've still got these Trebizodian separatists that could pop over here. There is still a little bit of unrest. It's taking absolutely forever to get anything done here. Um, what next revolt will be in about 1.6 years. A 5.1% chance every month of this firing. And it's already at 90% progress. So it could fire any time now. Um, what about you guys? Do you guys like me? You do. You would accept vassalization. Interestingly enough. You're only a single province. Uh, what about you guys? You really hate me. You dislike me. You have a positive opinion of me. Um, you wouldn't accept vassalizations because of the economic base. But this little one province minor would. Would put us over our alliance uh, limit, our relationship limit. Let's go ahead and not, let's not take the admin tech actually. We are ahead of time. So we will save that a little. Um, can we reduce inflation then? I mean, we're not going to hit the cap anytime soon, but being able to keep the inflation down is always good. Um, it's probably a little bit of a waste because the inflation is not at 2%, but actually it will save us some money. So that means we'll be able to pay off loans more quickly. It's worth doing. So let's go ahead and who could we possibly get... So yeah, we could get an alliance with you. It would save you from these guys. Let's go ahead and... Is it worth it for one province? What sort of... You've got seven development, I suppose. I mean, you might be making a, a decent amount of money. You haven't got an awful lot going on. I don't think I'm going to bother. I mean, it's one province that we might just end up taking later anyway. I'm not convinced that we actually need to have all of these forts down here either. So I'm going to start getting rid of a few of them. Just to try and save us a little bit of money. Um, we probably don't need this one down here either. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, these ones we will keep, I think. Uh, land theft. So basically, as usual, we can either side with the Alema or side with the Amirs. Um, whichever one we side with gains 15 loyalty and 10 influence. And the other one loses 15 loyalty and 10 influence or we can have them both lose loyalty and influence so let's just have a quick look and see what they're about so the Alima have 45 influence I really don't want to give that influence to the um, Amis I mean certainly they've got a bit too much influence now so let's go and side with the Alima it does reduce their um, influence, which is what we want to do. They're also really ticked off with us, but that's fine. Uh, we might be able to get some more conversions done now. Yep, there we go. It's 20, a fair few months, but 
it will get done. That fort is definitely staying on as is Trebizond. Uh, Alodia Separatists. Game 50 Diplo, very nice. Uh, so that's going to pop in Senar Al Qadif. Um, where are these provinces? Are these the ones that we took down here? Yeah. So we might end up with a rebellion down here. We are going to have to split these units off. We'll wait until it gets to about 80%. Normally what I like to try and do. Uh, admin tech, yeah, we still had a time. So there's no point in taking that right now. We just need to get out of debt. Get some money back. We can almost afford to pay off a loan. When is the next loan due, actually? The 1st of September, right there. Um, automatically renewed, because we didn't quite have enough to pay that one off. So the next one is November of 1491. We can pay that off uh, before, of course. We do have that option. So, yeah, we're making a decent amount of money. We are going to have to spend some to rebuild the army. That's certainly for sure. And you guys with your little one province miners, we can't do a lot with you. Uh, how many relations? Yeah, we are still at the relationship cap. Not too sure how useful Tunis is. All Syrian provinces get two unrest and minus 10%, well, plus 10% production efficiency. That is nice. Um, Tunis, you are, well, you're probably too big for vassalization, aren't you? Yeah, you've got more than 100 total development, which is a bit of a problem. You're also in a, re uh, a regency council, and you're allied with Morocco. But we've still got a fairly good alliance chain. Austria still likes us. Let's go ahead and improve relations with them. That can't hurt. Who else are we allied with? Austria, Tunis, and Caraman. Still would be nice to get someone like Poland on board, but... Um, there's some coring done. But yeah, Poland won't accept the alliance because they are still uh, hateful of Austria. Lithuania is probably going to be something around the same. Yeah, we can't get Lithuania. It's a real shame. Hungary's in a personal union under Austria anyway, so that doesn't really make a lot of difference. Bohemia, we might have been able to do, but yeah, our army strength isn't what it could be at the moment either. Uh, what have we got here? We can either move towards legalism or mysticism. Uh, we're already at 100% legalism. Um, we don't need to reduce any corruption... The manpower would be nice, but I think having this cheaper tech cost and the manpower modifier and the tax modifier is where we want to be. So I think we should stay towards um, legalism. So let's do that. Uh, General Foundation Afro can no longer serve us. Well, that's a little bit harsh. You, let's just get another general here before the... Uh, Rebellion pops, which you know it's guaranteed to do. So Afro is no longer with us. We will start cycling back through the names, but I want to try and give everybody a fair chance. So Mr. Alan Weber, you are next on the list. It's, I, th I find it much more fun actually naming generals than the leaders, because at least the generals actually do stuff. Um, Mr. Weber, that is a 3242. You are a two-star general, sir. Well done. You are the ideal person to be standing around here on the coast waiting for this rebellion that may pop. Oh, these guys are at 90%. I hadn't been keeping my eye on that. You guys need to stop drilling. Hopefully get your uh, morale back before it fires. But it does have a 24.9% chance each month. Not in that province though. So we are sort of safe from that happening. Um, lost some trade efficiency there because of a negative trait on our leader. That's all the coring done as well, which does help. Oh, if only these, these events would fire so we can actually get something done. Right, there is the um, rebellion. Let's move you guys across. Now, you're not at full morale, which is something that I, I really dislike. Um... Let's go ahead and give you the better general. Let's go ahead and give you Alan. And just because I want to make sure that we do have a general here, let's go ahead and put Monty in, because he's got 1-1 on the uh, shock and fire. 
do I want you guys to get one? Well, actually, if you move in on this turn, you'll get there on the 1st of July. So you will actually get a morale tick. Whether or not they get the... Yeah, they didn't man quite manage to get the uh, siege done in time. Couple of bad rolls there back to back. That didn't help much. Okay, but we did win that battle. So let's get you guys back over here. And in fact, let's go ahead and do swapsies again. Let's get you having Alan Weber again. And you can have another general, which will be... Uh, you can have Ryan. And we'll go back to drilling. Now again, we, do we have got some manpower coming in now. I mean, we could try and get some manpower from the um, Amirs, but the problem with that is it would give them... We wouldn't get much. We could get 4,000 manpower. They'd lose 15 loyalty. They'd need to have 30 loyalty to start with. If I do this, it'll put them up to 59 influence. I mean, we can do that anyway. Um, and then we can raise additional levies. I think if this was higher, right, so forty percent now. Let's repay that loan. Uh, what's this number now? Six thousand eight hundred. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So that just reduces their uh, loyalty. It doesn't actually increase their influence. That particular decision. So that's fine. Still ahead of time on all of these. We haven't hit the cap yet. So I think we just wait on that one. Now these separatists, you're going to follow fire in Bhutana um, which is where now? going to have to look that one up Bhutana, oh you're down there right next to this one so you guys um, need to again keep your eye on things and then stop drilling. How are we doing with this 34.95% not quite up to this one yet. I, I really just want to um get this up as quick as I can it's to recruit another general what we could do I mean if we really wanted to it's it's a big waste but we could gain 8,000 man manpower and lose five professionalism but I really don't want to do that we've got almost 10,000 can almost replace the uh, the lost troops down here so what I can do is I can make this up to my template so our template if you remember, this is a new feature that they've added. So our template is a 1242. And this is a 1550. So we've got um, three too many infantry. One too many cav. And we are missing the artillery. So if I go ahead and click this conformed template. And then click on that button. What it's now done is it's split off the extra troops. So those are the guys that aren't needed. It's split those guys off. And... It's going to hire two artillery to make that up to the right size stack. Which I think is a really cool thing. You guys can get back to Cairo. And we'll eventually get you made up to a full stack. Uh, let's go ahead and give you Monty. Because he's got five manoeuvre. You'll get back all the quicker. Uh, some local unrest goes down in Cairo. But we also lose some tax and manpower and goods. That's a little bit harsh. What we could do is we could go ahead and we could enact some edicts. Um, we've got the edicts that increase manpower, uh, promote recruitment. It does cost us a little bit of extra money. Uh, doubles our state maintenance, but it does give us some more manpower. I just, I don't think I'm going to do it. We're not terrible on manpower. I'm making a huge amount of money right now. But we are still making money, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and take that. We're not, um, what have we got there? Development cost down, tax modifier up for Aleppo, missionary strength up. Let's go ahead and just take this now because that puts us ahead of time and gives us the production efficiency bonus. So that is worth ha having. We can now actually make some states. Let's have a look around and see if there are any states worthwhile to give us some money. Um, that would give us a little bit, but not a huge amount. So I'm just trying to see which one would give us, like, the, the biggest increase. Um, that's not worthwhile. Most of it's based on sort of how many of the provinces you own within each territory, um, within each region. 
that's pretty terrible. Most of these are relatively low development, so it's not going to make a huge deal of difference. Yeah, that doesn't go up by a huge amount either. 10 to 38. That's pretty bad as well. Yeah, none of them particularly great. Jeddah. That's quite nice, actually. Sure. Let's go ahead and do that one. So we're going to make you into a state. What about over here? Nope, that's not worth it. Might get something up here that's worthwhile. Um, that's a good one as well. So let's make you a state. We will need to call you. That's going to be expensive, but again, worth doing. You could give us a bit. We'll keep you up there for now. There might be some that's better. So which one of those is worth more? That one slightly. Sure, let's go ahead and do that one. That's all of the extra states that we can have, but that might increase things a little. I'm still absolutely amazed that this rebellion has not fired. It's now saying 3.4 years. I think it's actually going down. But I've got to leave that army there. I can't afford to, um, to split them away. That would be just far too dangerous. Need to get some more money back so that I can uh, rebuild my army. We can purchase an ability. They're all a little bit pointless at the moment. I, I, I think it's too early to start a golden era. We're not really in any big wars, so it's not worth having. Uh, well, we're not doing any any um, colonies. The terrain combat bonus things could be useful. Um, we could get the reduced unrest, bordering claims. None of these are particularly useful. Uh, let's go ahead and take the bordering claims just in case we decide we want to use it. Basically, the way that works is... Uh, allows uh, actually is it that one? Oh, it's the transfer subject one. That wasn't wasn't the one I wanted. It's it's a different one to what I thought it was. But allows transfer subject peace treaty at half cost, which could be useful if there are a lot of vassals going on. Mostly those those um, particular choices are, are not great for me anyway. Um, that has expired. We can get a scholar. That scholar would uh, do what now? It's actually two here. Uh, reduce aggressive expansion impact, certainly. And um, cheaper admin tech. We lose admin power for doing this. Oh, w this one will be removed. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the reduced aggressive exp expansion impact one. I would like to do another war, but now we've got the problem that... Um, <laughs> We've actually got uh, no manpower. So let's um, let's just see what we can do to sort that out. What have we got here? Lose 10 prestige or the Emir loses loyalty. Get some national unrest. Or we can lose 5 prestige and gain legitimacy. We'll take that one. I mean, we're already legitimate... Legitimacy, ugh, legitimacy capped at the moment anyway. But at least we all we ended up doing there was losing a little bit of prestige. So tiny bit of loss. Didn't really make a lot of difference for us. Um, oh, just hurry up and pop. I'm, I'm almost tempted just to go and drop. I'm actually, I am going to do this. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm, if it'll let me, I'm just going to drop the autonomy. Because I want to force this to fire. I just want it done and out of the way. Um, there is a conversion we can do there. It would take a long time. But it's probably worth doing. We've renewed a loan. We're still down to six. Because we did take another one out. So that we could embrace the uh, institution. Right, 0 0.7 years. You're now much more likely to fire. This would give us cost of reducing war exhaustion being cheaper. Again, we're behind times on Diplotech. So I'm almost tempted to just wait and take the tech. But on the other hand, 
getting the yearly prestige could be nice. And getting up to these extra improved relations could be nice. We're gonna we're gonna hold off the Diplotech. The other thing with Diplotech is Diplotech actually costs you more money because as you increase your Diplotech, the uh, your naval maintenance goes up. Now, admittedly, there isn't an increase between level seven and eight, but there is between level eight and nine. So sometimes, if you don't need to increase your Diplotech, there's no reason to increase your Diplotech. Now we've got some. Why have we just lost a CB against um, Aragon? Are you still... Yeah, you're still a junior partner of Castile. That is unfortunate. Not sure what Austria are getting involved in right now. So these guys might still fire. Then we've got... Um, uh, ERZ. Two provinces, both with the, the same beginning initial. Um, so these provinces here. Yeah, these two. Okay, that's fine. So you can deal with those. So those are... What what guys are those? The Mamlukian Particularists. And these guys in Bhutana. And then you've got the Shia Zealots in Sinjar. That's just because we're converting. So that won't be a problem. You guys do have a leader, actually. So you could be drilling. Even though there's not a, not a lot of use for it. Now, do I want to pay off another loan before building up that army? We are technically making more money while we have a smaller army. So that's no bad thing. How are things going with Cyprus? I assume we are not quite relationship capped, actually. So we'll carry on with that. What about you guys? Um, let's keep improving relations with you. I'm not too sure if the status quo is actually going to change. Still can't get that vassalization. But it'd be nice if we could. Disloyal Estates. Rebel Uprising. Mamluk in particular. Yeah, just, nothing's just really firing at the moment. Are you making progress still? You are. It's very slow. Um, 21st of February 1502. That's a long time. You're nearly done. You're going to be finished on 94, so only next year. That's okay. Move towards legalism, lose prestige. The Alima gain loyalty. Some increased mission research, local unrest, or move towards mysticism. I want to stay um, as much as possible towards legalism because I like having the tax modifier. And the national manpower modifier is good because the more manpower you have, the quicker you recover manpower. Because it's always a direct percentage of your max. So that is not a bad thing. We need to increase our uh, trade as well. There's probably some trade buildings that we could get. That might make a decent difference to us. Yeah, there's certainly a few. I mean, we're going to end up taking out more loans again. Like we've just done there. We wouldn't have been able to have paid that off anyway. Uh, how much would it cost us to conform you to the template? 226 ducats. We do not have 226 ducats. Uh, we're fighting this. This is going to cost us some manpower. Again, keep towards the legalism. Okay, so we won that. We did lose some men. Not as many as I thought, so we should be able to recover from that quite quickly. Uh, there are still... Oh, there's another advisor died. Just when you're trying to save money, everybody keeps dropping down dead. Um, now, what I was about to say is that because we're, we're quite ahead in admin power, I think I won't bother for a while and we'll save the money, but yearly inflation reduction is really good, especially as we have so many loans. So let's keep the inflation reduction guy on, or at least let's take the inflation reduction guy on. Uh, I'd like to get these guys drilling, but we do have these Mamlukian particularists. Uh, what is it that's actually causing them to have unrest? Uh, Non-accepted culture, they do have some separatism. So that's the main problem we've got in these provinces. General Ryan Rogers can no longer serve as well. He didn't last particularly long, did he? Okay, well, we need to get ourselves another general, because you were down here helping with the drilling. So, before we end this video, let's go ahead and get ourselves one more new general. 
And uh, we have Carsten, my friend. Been one of my uh, patrons for a very, very long time. So there you go, sir. And you are a 2141, which I think is one star only, but still not a terrible general. However, we are well over the 20-minute mark, so that's an excellent place to stop. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you are still enjoying EU4, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.